31. You see the obvious discrepancy in height, less pronounced in reach, where Anderson will enjoy a three-inch advantage. All right, now to get you started for this second of three title fights, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Our judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Mike Bell, Dave Hagan, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Jason Herzog. And now... Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, holding professional record, 11 wins, 4 losses. She stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 144 and 1 half pounds, fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, by way of Gold Coast, Australia, presenting the challenger, Megan Anderson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a striker holding a professional record, 20 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Coral Springs, Florida, by way of Bahia Brazil, presenting the reigning Defending undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. Fighters gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you, Blue. There are no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves now, come on, ready to fight. And just when you thought Amanda Nunez didn't need another source of motivation, she and her wife Nina Nunez welcomed a baby girl, Reagan. And man, does Amanda seem inspired by that unbelievable First addition round, into her life. Are you ready? Fight. Here we go, folks. Tonight's Fight Clock is brought to you by Modelo Brood for those with a fighting spirit. Megan Anderson is in green. Amanda Nunez in the black and gold befitting a champion. I'm always interested to see what approach Amanda takes. With Cyborg, it was all striking. With Jermaine Duran, she took her down a whole bunch of times. I want to see if Megan attacks in the way that she did against Holly Holm. When she made her debut and she fought Holly Holm, she put some damage on Holly, made Holly turn into a wrestler against her. Oh my goodness. That's what separates Amanda from everybody else. She's explosive, man. Oh my god. Her power is so ridiculous. Megan took that punch, though. I mean, Megan, her eyes, she looks like wide eyed right now. She has to focus and get her way into the fight. Once she lands something, she'll feel better about yes. being in there. She's got to land. Oh, oh, she got oh, oh she's big right from Nunez. She's oh, trouble. my goodness. She's wobbling. She's hurt. Amanda oh, hits so goodness. damn hard. Oh, she's better. Megan's got to move. Oh, she's just standing still. Chop the Desperation leg. Oh, shot oh my Anderson. goodness. She's hurt bad. Oh, oh huge crowd right. strikes oh, here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this could be the beginning. Oh, my yeah. gosh. This fight is absolutely Keep over. Keep moving. This fight is absolutely Amanda's over. Amanda's going to submit her. She's going to take her back and choke her out. And if she doesn't choke her out, she's going to pound her out. Arm bar here. She said an arm bar. Is it a triangle? She's got a triangle here. Yeah, she's got a triangle. And taking the arm. Oh man, this yeah, is tight. Look at this. She's got it. Just showing another That's another it. skill it's a wrap. Megan's gonna tap. It's a wrap. Or she's gonna go to sleep. There's the tap oh, my Amanda wow. Nunes. Wow. wow. With a quick title defense I mean, tonight. I mean, Just a non-event. 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 Yeah, non-event. A, a non-event. That's non -event. the best non -event. way to put it. Was in zero danger. Never in Jeez. trouble. They're Every in... time she touched she's Megan a monster. Anderson, Megan would go flailing around the octagon. At one point, her leg went completely straight. I mean, 